With scroll sawing being very popular these days, SIP scroll saw is an absolutely superb piece of equipment which will suit any um, scroller from an amateur right through to a professional. The saw itself is powered by a 90 watt motor, has a parallel arm action to give an accurate straight cut on the blade as the blade goes up and down. We have a work hole down here to hold the work in place. There's an integral blower, bellow blower so that it keeps the work area clear of dust and the sight line for where we're cutting clear. Integral work light to keep the work area illuminated and it's variable speed enabling the, the um, stroke of cut to be adjusted at the ease of turning the adjuster at the front. The saw also benefits from being able to use not only the pin ended blades but also pinless using the adapters that are supplied with the saw by SIP. The cast aluminium table has a very generous 16 inch throat giving good capacity for larger items and the table will easily tilt from 90 degrees through to 45 degrees by adjusting at the front. The saw also benefits from dust extraction port so it can be connected to a hoover or vacuum source to take away the dust whilst the saw is in use which is highly recommended if you're cutting modified density fiberboard or MDF or the likes of man-made board. As well as that we also have a flexible drive system connected to the saw which works in conjunction with the on-off switch and also comes with a 64 piece accessory kit which features tools for grinding, sanding, cut-off discs, polishing to make the saw much more versatile or to make the saw much more versatile using the flexible drive system. We'll continue the cuts that I've been making here to finish cutting out this elephant. The light gives you a nice working position. Not only is the saw ideal for timbers, whether natural or man-made, but will also cut plastics and non-ferrous metals with ease, subject to the right blades being used. Adjusting the blade is very, or removing and changing the blade is very easy. All we need to do is release the tension using the adjuster at the back of the saw, freeze it off, bring the blade forward, lift it out and then we can put another blade on. I'll just reinsert the same one to continue and then tension it back until you get an oak. In use the blade actually oscillates up and down with a stroke of 15mm so we're using a good section of the blade all the time, so we're not just using one section of the blade at the bottom.